What the heck was that? I know, I know, I have this weird relationship with RC airboats, but I really can't get enough of them. So I designed and 3D printed this rather speedy looking RC airboat that I plan to attach a 64 millimeter ducted fan in, just like so. That's gonna be really interesting. But first, let's get rid of this hideous color with the magic of spray paint. Time for some soldering. So, I thought I would take just a minute to cover the design process of this RC airboat because it does include some pretty funny fails like this one. I lost all sense of size and proportion. I thought I would let it finish but I realized I would never use it anyways. That I think was pretty funny. And so I moved on to uh, a scaled up version. I did redesign a couple of things, uh, but then this time I messed up with the print settings. So as you can see, it's very, very weak. It's just two parameters. So there's a gap between uh, this wall here and this wall here. The boat is the major part and it's uh, printed standing up just like so. And that takes roughly 40 hours. So it's it's a rather big boat. I believe it's uh, it's like 40, 40 centimeters. Yeah, 420 millimeters in length are just these brackets here that lets you mount a servo for the rudder back here to be mounted. Very delicate waterproofing. A little silicone a day keeps the water away. The EDF fan will be will be uh, mounted just like so, yeah. And there's a channel going into the boat for the boat connectors to be, you know, kind of going through. But I made that hole too small. Like, how do you mess up a hole? So the three bullet connectors from the EDF will be connected to the EC just like so, and. Uh, I managed to make that hole too small, so I had to uh, resize it using uh, using some heat and uh, force. And now it's big enough for the EDF to be mounted. So, so that's another oopsie resolved. It spun the wrong way, so I'm just swapping any of the two bullets. We have steering right there. Holy moly, that's a lot of power. I cannot make this stuff up, but Mother Earth apparently decided that winter is not over in Sweden. Not quite yet, so that would be the perfect time to test the RC airboat, she's a beauty and she's almost finished up. I did mount the servo back here, I didn't plan for the rudder to be all the way out here. My initial plan was to have it inside the exhaust, uh, but Simon did another oopsie and didn't take account for the motor to be poking out that far, so uh, I got creative with uh, another servo horn and uh, fixed fixed the rudder and now it's uh, working like a charm. I just mounted the servo horn onto the rudder itself and fixed it on top because it was kind of flimsy so that helped a lot and now it feels uh, very solid. And uh, that's uh, pretty much all there is to it. There's just a ESC controlling the motor uh, and also feeding power to the receiver. The receiver is controlling the servo back here and uh, we're gonna start with the 3 cell 2200 milliamp hour battery. Just cramming all that stuff in there, taking the hatch. 
Taking the hatch with magnetic. Oh, very nice. All right, let's take it out for a spin. Okay, definitely could have gone better. A couple of points here. My past experience tells me that the weight of the airboat doesn't necessarily play such big of an impact of the driving experience. And that's based on the propeller based power system that I've been using. I'm, I'm normally not using EDF fans and propeller based systems have much greater, based on the diameter of the propeller, much better acceleration. So 64 millimeter ducted fans normally have good top speed but not very good acceleration. However, I think we'll do a lot better on the water and on the ice with a four cell battery. So let's try that next. So I'm not sure if I ever mentioned this, but I moved to this new place, right? And it's actually right next to the same lake that I have the raft in. You may remember the raft from last summer, such a fun project and I can't wait to get on on the raft again. Me and a friend is planning to renovate the entire raft, make it bigger, make it better. And I was thinking of recording the entire thing and make a video about it. Not so much 3D printing, but you know, I hope you will find it interesting anyways. And speaking of the water, I'm here and look at this. We have a patch of ice. That's all there is left on the entire lake. Not that anyone asked, but what kind of equipment do I bring to make these kind of videos happen? The DJI Mavic Pro makes even the worst drone pilot sufficient for the job. I have a gimbal with the GoPro Hero 5. Works really well to get that stabilized uh, footage. A 360 camera for the onboard footage on the airboat and the main camera, Canon ADD. Here we are, the first test of the 3D printed RC airboat Speed 2.0. Very exciting, let's uh, put this baby in the water. The 360 should be recording at this point, I have the GoPro as backup. Let's see if uh, she even floats. So at this point, I think it's pretty clear that I went overboard with the number of, pun intended. The 3D printed parts are 800 grams, just plastic weight. I simply made it too heavy. There's a lot of parameters. It could be that it's just overweight, but the good thing is that it's very, very strong and you could probably skid this along pavement and it wouldn't budge. So how to remedy this, I will remove the 360 camera. That's a lot of weight. And I, and I will use the four cell batteries so we get more power. Heck, what's that?
dude. It's literally smoking. Don't sink. Don't sink on me. Not yet. I'll be back. That's one ugly fish. The smoke hardly came from the battery. It looks fine from the outside. So it must have been the speed controller. Surely it wasn't from the receiver as I still had rudder control. Later. Considering this is the very first version I made, I'm very happy of how well it tracked in the water. It got plenty of power. So I think it would be beneficial to make it slightly larger and also increase the whole height. This one to make the a uh, whole leading edge not dip into the water. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I sure did enjoy making it. Follow me on Instagram and uh, check out my Patreon page and I'll see you again very soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.